And today, the Auschwitz, not long ago, not far away exhibit opens at Union Station. So many people talking about this one. Yeah, and a lot of history there. Savannah Rudisell is live at Union Station this morning. Savannah, how's it going? Hey, good morning, Joe and Kelly. This exhibition, it's set up now, and uh, it, it's pretty incredible just to walk into immediately. Uh, this is, again, kind of without the audio tour part that's going to be a big part of this as well, but so far, you, you walk in, automatically, you get chills. I'm talking here this morning with Jerry Baber. He's the COO of Union Station and was really integral in getting this exhibition to Kansas City. Jerry, we know this is just one of two stops in the United States that this exhibition is making. How did Kansas City get it? Yeah, I got asked that question last night. How did you guys get it? Um, you know, for the first time, we've worked on something for six years. We're always looking for new product. We bring one or two exhibits in to Union Station every year. And so we're constantly looking out to find out what's going to come in 2023, 24. And this one was pitched back in 2015 by Luis, Luis Ferrero out of uh, Spain. And he was at a conference in Atlanta, and he was just kind of a little bit of a quiet guy, and he kind of just was speaking from a piece of paper saying he has this idea about curating something on Auschwitz. And he wasn't real known in our circles for exhibitions, and usually you kind of know who the players are. Um, but as soon as we heard him say the word Auschwitz, ears went up. I immediately wanted to go talk to him, get more information, give him my contact information. He obviously didn't know us. We're from Kansas City. He's from Spain. Um, and so we immediately established that rapport, stayed in contact with him. Two years later, he was ready to talk to us about actually um, what the exhibit was going to look like and that he was going to open in Madrid. So, you know, this was a long journey. We went and met with him uh, pre-Madrid, saw it there, told him we were convinced we had to have it in Kansas City. Um, and then the polls had to come here and inspect the museum and say if it was okay. And uh, so it was a really long journey and it's surreal to see it in our gallery. A, a six year journey and all of the logistics of both getting all of the international players that you need over here. Why, why is it worth it? Why is it worth all of this effort to bring this exhibition here? You know, we're always trying to balance education, entertainment, uh, a variety so that we bring in exhibits that might relate to different constituencies. Uh, and this one is just so relevant. Yeah, it happened 75 years ago, um, but intolerance and hatred, we see it in every news line almost every day, unfortunately, especially if you get news from Twitter. Um, and so the, the story of this intolerance and what can happen from it is so relevant today. That's why. Jerry, thank you so much for this. We're going to have a, a link on our website that's going to talk a little bit more about ticket availability and pricing. Tickets are already limited. We'll explain why that is coming up here in our next half hour. Reporting live in Union Station, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, just incredible all of the work that's gone into this and what people can see once they arrive there. Looking mm -hmm. forward to it. Thank you, Savannah. Right now.